How many emails do you get a day? Do you always check them before you answer? If you're not careful, you can head down a road that costs you a lot of money. Kim DiGiulio has the story of a local business that got zapped by cyber criminals losing $35,000. 27th Letter Books is a quaint bookstore located on Michigan Avenue in southwest Detroit, owned by two couples who love to read. I think most of us read about 50 a year. As a new business, they're working hard to build a clientele and a relationship with their customers. So a few months ago, when an email came through from someone asking to buy a few textbooks, they jumped on it. Gaining, you know, someone's trust of like, hey, let me order one or two things and like, you know, here's, I'm going to pay for it, and it, you know, seems like everything is normal. Over time, this person had purchased more than $35,000 worth of medical and engineering textbooks. Eventually, the owners saw a red flag. When I put the card through the virtual terminal, um, that's when it, it just flagged it as fraudulent card. We had received funds, and then once we found out that it was fraudulent, like those funds were like taken or charged back from our credit card processor. Leaving these four owners on the hook to pay for the books themselves. I feel like a lot of this has to do with, you know, how the digital like marketplace has made it so much easier for people to try and like perpetrate these types of crimes. The owners have since reached out to their faithful customers for help basically saying they won't be able to survive this loss. Feeling the, the love of like people want us here and people care about us. If you'd like to help the 27th Letter Bookstore, I posted a link to their GoFundMe page on our website at clickondetroit.com. Reporting from Southwest Detroit, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4. Oh, thank you, Kim. Bookstores already have a tough enough time. At last check, the GoFundMe has already raised $27,000 of that 35,000 needed to cover their losses.